Hey everyone, welcome back to Close Look. Kevin Atwell here with you. Next to me is a very young, cute, energetic, bubbly young girl who has an amazing story to share with us. So let's take a close look. Simran, how are you doing this afternoon? Good, thank you. Yeah. Wonderful. So tell us a little bit about how old you are, where you went to school, and what you study. Um, I'm 11 years old. I go to school in Jesse, at Jesse Lea Elementary in South Surrey. Um, my favorite subject is science, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Science and what do you hope to be when you're older? Um, I'd like to be a pe uh, children's pediatrician. Okay, wonderful. And why uh, that specific career? Um, because when I was six years old, I was diagnosed with leukemia, which is a form of cancer that uh, where the blood, white blood cells uh, destroy the red blood cells. So I was diagnosed with that type of cancer. And so when I grow up, I wanna end up helping kids like everyone at Children's Hospital. Wow, that's. That's unreal. At, at such a young age, you were diagnosed with leukemia. That, that's a life-changing event. Yeah. yeah. And so how did you know you, you had it? What were the signs and symptoms um, to make you say, hey, I need to go to the doctor because I'm not feeling well? Well, when I was six years old, our my cl first grade classroom was at the top of the stairs. So we had to walk upstairs every day. And I started having pains in my legs. My dad thought it was just, you know, walking upstairs. I haven't walked up a lot of stairs before. And then I started getting fevers and cold and coughing and sniffles. And my dad thought it was a cold, right? So, but even it wouldn't stop, right? So eventually we went to our pediatrician, Dr. Jessa. And then he told us to go for blood work. And then a day later, I got pulled out of school early and we went to Children's Hospital. They ran some tests in the emergency ward and I found out I had leukemia. Wow, so from the beginning when, you know, your legs were hurting and you started coughing and had um, fevers and whatnot, and I'm guessing sweats, how long from you experiencing those things did you end up in the emergency room? Like, how long did they go for until it's like, I really need to go to the doctor? Um, it was like 10 days and I wasn't getting better, so my mom took me to the doctor's and then he told us to go for blood work, so we went straight from the, his office to BC Children's Hospital. They took some tests, and then the next day, we, my, I got pulled out of school, and we went to Children's Hospital. They ran some more tests, and then we found out I had leukemia. So what course of treatment did your doctor um, provide for you during your treatment? Well, there was a lot of chemotherapy, so like there were a lot of needles injecting medicine into me and there was lumbar punctures and they, we also got some medicine that we had to take that I had to take orally and that was like once every day and some of it was really it tasted really bad and it made me all moody and everything and yeah. so it was really it was it wasn't the best but it was helping me get better right even though I didn't like it and how long did you have to undergo chemotherapy for um two and a half years and did you lose your hair yeah, I did. I was. It started to fall out, and then we decided to first cut it, and then I didn't want to keep it cut, so I shaved it. And we, and at the time, my hair was up to here, so we cut it and donated it, and we cut it short, and then we shaved my head. Yeah. Wow. And um, how did that make you feel? Um. At first, I felt really weird, and I was like, "Oh, I'd look really funny." And then it was. It was okay. I got used to it because it was pretty cool, and everyone's like wow you have your head shaved and i was like it was really funny yeah and so did you have a good support network around you friends and family yeah i had a lot of friends were coming over and saying hi and and the family was really nice and i had i went over to my aunts and we were always at our aunts or our grandmas yeah. uh, who's your best friend um a girl named olivia lowen i met her i didn't i didn't meet her till recently but she was at, there's this camp called Camp Good Times that helps for kids with cancer. So I met her there and she's my best friend, yeah. for sure. Oh. Adorable. And have you at, at all been a part of um, community events with respect to cancer, whether it's participating in fundraisers for the BC Cancer Agency and whatnot? Yeah. What kinds of events have you been a part of? Um, I've been part of AWAS, the World of Smiles, and that's in May. This, that's coming up, so I'm doing that again. And then in June, there's Child Run, so we're doing that again with Miracle Weekend. And then there's like Balding for Dollars, which is coming up in May, and there's a whole bunch of fundraisers. Yeah. 
Oh, that's super exciting. And um, I've been made aware that you had made a wish to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I'm excited to hear about how you heard of this foundation called Make-A-Wish. How did you hear about it? Um, when I was sick, sick, we had um, one of our relatives was in the agency and she worked there. So she told us about it. And so it was down like lots of fun and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to do this. Very cool. And so what was your wish? Um, my wish was to go to Disney World and go on a Disney cruise. Wow. And did that wish happen? Yes. What were the highlights of the trip and what was like the best part? Did you get to meet Mickey Mouse? Yes. My best, my, my, I have two favorite parts, one from the cruise and one from Disney World. Okay. The, my favorite part from Disney World was when we were on, on Space Mountain and I, had it, and I had went before, but my parents hadn't gone with me and none of my family had gone with me. So they didn't know what it was like. And so when we went on Space Mountain, they were all screaming and it was so funny. <laughs> and then on the Disney cruise, we stopped in NASA and we went to an island called Blue Lagoon Island. And we went and they had dolphin swimming. So we signed up for that. And that was my most favorite thing ever. <laughs> that is super cool. So why was this particular wish to go to Disneyland very important for you? It was really important because when I was in the hospital, there were a lot of bad days and I was like, always feeling bad and then when I heard about the wish I was like oh my gosh I can't wait to do this and then when I was on my wish it was just so much fun I forgot about everything yeah definitely takes your mind off the hard times yeah, for sure yeah. um do you have some words for our youth out there our, our young young generation that's watching to let them know that they should probably get involved in volunteer work and, and why it's a good thing to get involved I think they should really get involved in volunteer work it's just I know why I do it I love having a good feeling of helping people but more most of all I love going to children's hospital and walking in and seeing how many people are getting better and everything yeah. cool. um, so along with um, volunteering what are some of your interests and hobbies and passions what do you do on the side um, I really love to sing I like to dance I like to do arts and crafts that was one of my Fav those were some of my favorite things to do when I was in chemotherapy. I couldn't dance a lot, though, because I had a lot of wires for chemotherapy. But I loved to sing. That helped me get through it, and arts and crafts for sure. And when I when I got discharged from the hospital, I, I, I used to play soccer before I went to the hospital. And it was really hard for me to sit on the sidelines and watch while I was getting better. But after a while, I got to play again. That was one of my favorite things. Yeah. Wonderful. That's super exciting. Okay, so you said that you like to sing. So who's your favorite singer? Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez. And your favorite song by Selena Gomez? Um, Hit the Lights. Hit the Lights. I can't say I've ever heard it, but there's always a first time for everything. So let's hear a few lyrics if you don't mind. Okay, cool. You can hold on to the mic. Actually, I'll hold the mic. Too. Okay. It's the boy you never told I like you. It's the girl you let her get away. It's the one you saw on the train that day But you freaked out and walked away It's the plane you want to catch to Vegas oh, I forgot the rest It's the plane you want to catch <laughs> to Vegas well, That sounds phenomenal, good job You know, you should consider take singing up for, you know, in the future yeah, yeah, that's definitely one of the other things I want to do Even if I become a pediatrician or whatever yeah. I'll definitely want to sing, dance, and do whatever on the side. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's no limit to what you can do. You can keep your life busy with all these wonderful aspects. So that's great. Um, I wish you nothing but the best of luck in the future. And I'm excited to talk about um, some things about with... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> let, me, let me think about... Let me start again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, cool. Um, that was amazing. Um, I wish you nothing but the best in the future and your future endeavors. And I hope to, if I ever have children, which one day I hope I will, and if they ever have problems, which I hope they won't, um, I will definitely send them to you because I definitely see great qualities in you. Thank you so much for talking with us. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and so your dad's been a huge supporter as well as your family. So I'm actually looking forward to chit-chatting with him. So let's, uh, let's talk to him. Okay. okay.